Hi Kingdom Kids, it's Missy Vaughn. Welcome back to another weekly lesson. This week it's going to be a shorter lesson, but a very important one. We're going to be learning about how Jesus chose his disciples. We know that there are 12 disciples and we hear about them all the time, but how did Jesus choose them? Who were they? Who were they? What were their names? So today we are going to be reading a lot of scriptures so that we can learn about them. And so follow along either by reading the screen or by grabbing your own Bible and opening to the book of Mark. So today we are going to be starting with Mark chapter one, verses 16 through 20. And this is what it says. Now, as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And Jesus said unto them, come ye after me, and I will make you fishers of men. And straight away, they forsook their nets and followed him. And when he had gone a little farther thence, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were also in the ship mending their nets. And straightway he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servants and went after him. Then we are going to move on to chapter 2. So Mark chapter 2, reading verses 13 through 19. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we are going to be reading Mark chapter 2, verses 13 and 14. This is what it says. And he went forth again by the seaside, and all the multitude resorted unto him, and he taught them. And as he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting at the receipt of custom, and said unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. Now we are going to move on to chapter 3, and here is where we are going to be reading verses 13 through 19. So Mark chapter 3, verses 13 through 19. And he goeth up into a mountain, and calleth unto him whom he would. And they came unto him, and he ordained twelve, that they should be with him, and that he might send them forth to preach, and to have power to heal sicknesses, and to cast out devils. And Simon, he surnamed Peter, and James the son of Zebedee, and John the brother of James, and he surnamed them Boanders, which is the sons of thunder. And Andrew and Philip and Bartholomew and Matthew and, Th and Thomas and James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus and Simon the Canaanite and Judas Iscariot, which also betrayed him. And they went into a house and the multitude, multitude cometh together again so that they could not so much as eat bread. All right, so Jesus chose his disciples. So as we just read, they were 12, there was 12 men. And as Jesus was walking through the Sea of Galilee, he saw the brothers, right? He saw Simon and Andrew, what were they doing? They were fishing. And Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you fish for people. I'm sure they were wondering like, we're fishermen, we fish for fish, but okay, we're gonna fish for people now. <laughs> so what did they do? They were obedient. They immediately left their nets and they followed him. Going a little farther, Jesus saw James and his brother John in a boat and he called them and guess what they did? They also left their boat and followed him. Jesus went out beside the sea again and this time he saw Levi, later who would be called Matthew, collecting money from people and he said to Levi, follow me. And what did Levi do? He got up and he followed him. Jesus called out and sent out 12 disciples. Remember, we always talk about this number. There were 12. And so they were learners or people. They were the people Jesus called to follow him, to tell people about himself. So these were the people that Jesus chose to spread the gospel. They were the initial people that were going to do miracles, perform miracles and tell others about Jesus. And so he chose these 12. He chose Simon to whom he gave the name Peter. James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, which is Levi, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon, and Judas, who unfortunately later betrayed Jesus. But these were the original 12 disciples that Jesus chose. And so Fisher of Men, make sure that you tune in next week because we're going to dive a little bit deeper what that means. But remember, Jesus chose these 12 to start spreading the gospel, but now we also have that honor and privilege that Jesus wants us here on earth to do the same work that these disciples did. Jesus chose us. We are his chosen people. We are his children. What is the purpose of us? Of Like, what is our purpose here on earth, friends? It is to share the word of God. It is so that everyone, every tribe, every nation, every tongue can know who Jesus is and know that he came to save them. He came to redeem them. 
That is a gift, friends, that we have already received. So what do we do? Do we just keep it to ourselves? No, it's like show and tell in school. When you've got something exciting and amazing, what do you want to do? You want to show and tell everyone. So that is what we need to do. We have been given this gift, this gift of salvation. We've got our guidebook. So what do you do with this awesome gift? You show and you tell everyone about them and you share with them how they too can become children of God. All right, friends, I've got a few review questions for us today. So first one, according to Mark 1:17, what does Jesus tell the disciples to do? Remember, they're doing their own thing. Some of them are fishermen. What did he tell them to do? He said, follow me. And how many disciples did Jesus to, uh, choose? Mm, it was 12, remember? And now there are 12 disciples. What you can do at home is make a list and name them out so that you can remember who those first 12 disciples were. And where were James and John when Jesus called them? They were in a boat. Remember, a lot of these men were fishermen. And what did James and John do when they heard Jesus call? Did they just say like, hmm, let's think about it. I'm not so sure I've got stuff to do. No, they got up and they left. They left their boat to follow Jesus. And what did Jesus say his disciples would fish for? Would they continue fishing for fish and just other food? No, they would now fish for men, for people. And true or false, fishing for people means to tell the good news of Jesus. And that is true, friends. And name one way you, friends, can follow Jesus. One very easy way is that you can read the Bible. You can take times to pray. You can listen to the Sunday school stories or to Pastor Daniel on Sundays. And you can tell others about Jesus. There are so many ways to follow and to do the will of God. All right, friends, before I send you off to Miss Elizabeth, let's close this time in prayer. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much um, that we get to be called your children. Lord, um, although we are not one of the first 12 disciples that you chose, we too have been given this gift and privilege to be called your children, to spread the gospel, to tell others about you. May we continue doing kingdom work. May you continue blessing all of our kingdom kids at Parkwood, keeping them safe. And just thank you because you are true and your word is still relevant today. Thank you for all that you are doing. Keep us safe and healthy during this time. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, Kingdom Kids, thank you so much for joining. And it is time for a fun activity with Miss Elizabeth. See you next time. Hi, Kingdom Kids. It's Miss Elizabeth with you this week to do your Bible study activity. This week we talked about how Jesus chose his disciples and told them that they would be fishers of men. So a fun craft that I thought we could do this week is actually a people paper chain. So something that's like this, where we can make, uh, as long as you want with a piece of paper, um, a chain of people that you could color or draw to look like people in your life, like your friends and your family, to remind you of the people that Jesus chose to be his very best friends. So here's my small one of three that I just did. Um, that I just drew some random people. Um, I just used pencil. And I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need. So you're gonna need a piece of paper. I cut mine um, to be smaller, but you can use a regular sheet of paper and make them as big or as small as you want. You're gonna need a pencil or a pen, and you're gonna need a pair of scissors to cut them out. So you're gonna take your piece of paper and you're gonna fold it in equal sections as long as the paper will go. So I have mine right now is folded into one, two, three, four equal sections. Then on one side, you're going to draw your shape of a person. So I have mine on this side where the fold is um, this direction right here. So that when you cut it out uh, and you open it up, their hands will be together and maybe their feet, depending on how you cut it. This one, it, they're not together, which is fine. So I'm gonna cut it out and I'll show you. If you need help with scissors, remember to ask an adult. And if you need permission to use scissors, remember to ask for permission first, because you don't want anybody getting hurt while trying to do their craft. So we're just gonna cut along our lines that we made. Um, and if you want to have it look nicer or want a template or something for it, you can always go online and find um, sources that will give you a, uh, a thing that you can already cut out. 
but I just drew my person shape on here, which I think would be fun for you to do too. So we're just gonna continue to cut it out until we have our person shape all cut out. Following our lines. And then once we've done that, you should be able to open it up and have a chain of blank people that you can now um, use crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have to make your own little um, group of friends or family to remind you about Jesus's closest friends and who he picked. And maybe you can even draw people that you want to tell um, about Jesus too. People that you would go out and spread the word with. Because Jesus calls us to be people who go out and tell the word um, and the good news. So I think that'll be fun. Um, I had a good time coloring my little people and just making some fun friends out of paper. So I hope you enjoy your craft time and enjoyed your Bible time today. Until next week, bye!